This video will cover difficult part 2 questions regarding the topic of integration inverse trigonometric functions. Question 1, we can rewrite as the integral of 2x over x squared then squared plus 6x squared plus 10 then dx. Use u substitution, let u equal x squared, then derive on each side, du equals 2x dx. Then change all x into u, the integral of 2x dx is du over x squared is u, then u squared plus 6u plus 10. We can write the denominator as the sum of the two squares, u squared plus 6u plus 10 equals, we need a perfect square form using completing the square, u squared plus 6u, then the coefficient of the middle term, which is 6 divided by 2, then squared, it is 3 squared, which is 9, then plus 10, we can rewrite as plus 9, then plus 1. And then this part make perfect squared form. u plus 3 squared plus 1. Then back to the original, the integral of 1 over this part is this. u plus 3 squared plus 1, then du. Now use substitution again. Let w equal u plus 3, then drive on each side, dw equals du, then back to the original, the integral of 1 over u plus 3 is a w squared plus 1, then du is dw. Now use the formula, the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx equals arctangent of x plus c. So this one is arctangent of w plus c equals arctangent of w was u plus 3 plus c equals arctangent of actually u was x squared, then x squared plus 3. This is the final answer. Question 2. This integral does not appear to fit any of the integration formulas involved with inverse trigonometric functions. So let's see how arctangent is used in this integral using substitution. Let u equal square root of e to the power of x minus 3, then square on each side, u squared equals e to the power of x minus 3, then derive on each side, 2u du equals e to the power of x dx. There is only dx, then divide by e to the power of x on each side, 2u du over e to the power of x equals cancelled dx. And from here, plus 3 on each side, u squared plus 3 equals e to the power of x. So 2u du over e to the power of x is u squared plus 3 equals dx. Now change all x into u, the integral of square root of e to the power of x minus 3 is u, then dx is this one, to u du over u squared plus 3, then we can rewrite as integral of this one is 2u squared du over u squared plus 3. Then 2 moves here, the integral of u squared over 
u squared plus 3, then du. Then u squared over u squared plus 3, add plus 3, then minus 3, like adding 0. Then we can rewrite as this part is 1 minus this part is 3 over u squared plus 3. Then back to the original equals to integral of 1 minus 3 over u squared plus 3 du. Now splitting the integrand into two parts, 2 times the integral of 1 du minus 3 times the integral of 1 over u squared plus 3 then du equals 2 times the integral of 1 du is u minus 3 times using the formula the integral of 1 over u squared plus a squared du equals 1 over a arc tangent of u over a plus c from here u squared is u squared but 3 is a squared that means a equals square root of 3. Then back to the original, 1 over a means the square root of 3, arc tangent of u over a, u over a is square root of 3, plus c, equals 2u minus 6 over square root of 3, arc tangent of u over square root of 3, plus c. The final answer is 2u, u was square root of e to the power of x, minus 3, minus 6 over square root of 3, it is 6 over square root of 3, times square root of 3 over square root of 3 equals 6 square root of 3 over 3 then 3 times 1, 3 times 2 which is 2 square root of 3 then arc tangent of u was square root of e to the power of x minus 3 then we can rewrite as e to the power of x minus 3 over 3 plus c. Like question 2, where we just integrated, this integral also doesn't seem to fit the integral formulas for inverse trigonometric functions. So, it's good to remember how to start these kinds of integrals. Use u substitution, let u equal square root of x minus 3 then square on each side, u squared equals x minus 3. Then derive on each side, 2u du equals dx. We need x plus 2. Then from here, add 5 on each side. Then u squared plus 5 equals x plus 2. Change all x with u. The numerator square root of x minus 3 is u over the denominator x plus 2 is u squared plus 5 and dx is 2u du equals we can rewrite as 2 moves here then integral of u squared over u squared plus 5 du. And add 5 and minus 5 here, like adding 0, equals 2. Make separate this part, the integral of 1 minus this part, 5 over u squared plus 5, then du.
Splitting the integrand into two parts equals two integral of one du minus five the integral of one over u squared plus five du equals two times the integral of one du is u minus five times use the formula the integral of one over u squared plus a squared du equals one over a arctangent of u over a plus c in here a squared is five that means a equals square root of five then back to the original one over a is one over a is square root of five arctangent of u over a is square root of 5 plus c equals 2 times u was square root of x minus 3 minus 5 over square root of 5 arc tangent of u was square root of x minus 3 over square root of 5 plus c Final answer is 2 square root of x minus 3 minus 5 over square root of 5 times square root of 5 over square root of 5 equals 5 square root of 5 over 5 cancelled square root of 5. So this one is square root of 5. Then split minus the 2 square root of 5 arc tangent of we can rewrite as square root of x minus 3 over 5 then plus c. This is the last one. This one is involved with arc secant. We have to make the difference of squares inside of the square root. x squared minus 4x equals x squared minus 4x minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 then square equals 4 then minus 4 only this part make perfect squared x minus 2 squared minus 4 then we can rewrite as the integral of 1 over x minus 2 square root of x squared minus 4x is x minus 2 squared minus 4 then dx. Use u substitution. Let u equal x minus 2. Then derive on each side. du equals dx. Then back to the original. The integral of x minus 2 is u square root of u squared minus 4, 1 over, then dx is du. Now use the formula, the integral of 1 over u times the square root of u squared minus a squared du equals 1 over a arc secant of u over a plus c. In here, a squared is 4. That means a equals 2. So 1 over a is 1 over 2. Arc secant of u over a, u over 2 plus c. The final answer is 1 over 2. Arc secant of u was x minus 2 over 2 plus c. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.